Hi Christine. Thank you very much for joining me. You're always first here. It's lovely to see. Hi Natasha. How are you? Hope you're both okay. What awesome shows there were this morning and yesterday, weren't they? Oh, blimey. I don't know how she does it. Hi, Tina. don't know how she does it coming up with these fantastic ideas all the time, but boy, oh boy, do they work well. <clears throat> I know I'm using one of the dies that sold out, um, but it's just really to hopefully give her a, like an extra idea hi mary lovely lovely lady <coughs> so and i'm also using the numbers which <laughs> don't exist anymore um but i'm sure lots of people have got them in their in their stash because mm, there aren't any left basically <laughs> it's good isn't it tina oh it's amazing I have used it. I've used it for um, mica powders um, and I, for mixing the colours. Hi Helen. Um, for mixing the colours I mixed the, the blue and the red um, Lisa's mica powders on this yesterday. And, um, and I thought, oh that's never going to come off. But it did. You can't tell I've used it, can you? I think if you look really, really hard you probably can. But um, it washes beautifully and it's just I love it it's just amazing I'm actually going to use it the other way up I think because I'm sort of I'm right handed so it's natural for me to go this side but oh yeah what a, what a fantastic idea have you ordered one Tina hi Anne Natasha have you ordered one um, I think you'll both love them if you have. They're just oh amazing, and they feel they're so tactile. They just feel beautiful. They're oh they're fabulous, fabulous. I mean, I'm not using it today. I'm only using it because it's here and it just stops my card moving around too much, um, and it also helps me keep in the right place for my work area for the camera. What that's brilliant. You see, that was an idea that Lisa didn't think of, wasn't it? Um, but it's it's perfect because now I know where my where my work area is. Hi, Wendy. Oh, Tina, you need one. You really need one. It's it's just beautiful. I bet Heidi's ordered one. Um, because I know she can't resist new goodies. Um, anyway, I digress. Let's crack on. Um, it's not a difficult card, um, as you can see, it's quite straightforward. Um, oh, that's a good idea, Natasha. Birthday present, definitely. Lots of hints to drop. Um, I think you, you especially, with all your, your mixed media and stuff, you will love it. Love it. Anyway, so, yeah, as I was saying, it's not a difficult card. It's not complicated in any shape or form. It's quite quick and easy to put together once you've done all the die cutting um, so I've done all the die cutting because I don't want to sit here just keep going off camera to, to die cut um, and 99% and of you already know what you're doing with die cutting anyway um, but I will just run through how fantastic Lisa's dies are um, for the die cutting so I think what I'll do first is run through the things that I've used and then we can get that out of the way. So the first thing that I've used, which I do apologise, is no longer in stock. Um, but I wanted numbers on my card. And Lisa's numbers are are fabulous. Um, sneaking a peek from work on silent. Of course, Heidi. Of course. And nobody will say a word. Nobody will tell anybody. Because you're a legend, apparently. Anyway. Um, so yes, I'm using Lisa's numbers because um, primarily they're the only set of die cut numbers I've got in my, in my stash. But I just love how they look on a card. Um, and the thing I love most is that they've got the today, birthday and the TH, the 
um, N, D, S, T, R, D to go with the numbers. So 50th, 22nd, 1st, 3rd, all those sorts of numbers. And they've got those little um, suffixes as well. And I think that's brilliant. So I love those. I know there aren't any in stock at the moment, but um, watch this space. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So the next thing I'm using, obviously, is one of the new um, edge cuts dies, which uh, sold out uh, on Create and Craft this morning. And I have to say, I'm not surprised. They are fabulous dies and they cut beautifully. Now, I've got to tell you that the one I've cut today, I've also cut. I put my mirror card onto one of Lisa's double sided adhesive sheets, um, which are these fabulous i'd be lost without these because it's quite an intricate die it, it's quite difficult to glue down without the glue showing on your black card now black is notorious for showing glue marks and i, and I didn't want to spend time having to erase them although my my residue eraser is fabulous i didn't want to spend time having to take any residue off the black card so I added my mirror card to the double sided adhesive sheets and then ran that through the die cutting machine. Now, the only thing I would say is run it through two or three times because you've got that extra layer of double sided adhesive. It does um, take an extra couple of runs through your machine to get it to cut out properly. So do it a couple of times. It should be perfect. It, the, the actual adhesive um, will stick in your dies and it'll take a little bit of getting out but it's it's so easy to get out it's not it's not difficult it's just because it's got adhesive on it and it will stick in the die and um, whereas normally your card will just drop out with the double-sided adhesive sheets on top you might just have to go through with um a, you know a pokey tool and just poke all your extra little bits out but but it's fine it all comes out perfectly well anyway so I'm just using the main die today. I'm not using the two little extra flower dies, which obviously are fabulous. Um, and I've used them on my samples. Don't know whether you caught sight of the little wreath card that I made, which was on the TV this morning. Um, and I, all I've used is these two dies. And it was beauty. I, I just like the, the way that you can use just the, the extra little bits on their own, as well as the die and using it all together that that's the versatility of lisa's dies i think they're fabulous and then i'm using the um layered words happy um happy stamps and dies and i'm also using the <laughs> um happy birthday layered words the birthday set now i know the birthday set sold out on creating craft this morning but as far as I'm aware, there are still some in Lisa's shop. Um, there were 11 in stock when I checked, but if they've sold out on Create and Craft, then some of those might be earmarked for customers from this morning. So if you wanted those, then I'd, I'd get in quick. Um, there's nine of the Happy in stock, and the Amazing, which is the other set in the three, there's 12 of those in stock at the moment. Now, they're 22 99 each. But to be honest, for this particular set, six dies and 21 stamps, six dies and 18 stamps, and six dies and 17 stamps for the amazing set, I think that's pretty good value for money. £23 for all that metal and stamps as well, I think is pretty amazing. Um, and they're just so versatile. Now I'm going to run through um, a, a few ways of using these um, after I've made my card. So um, just stick around after the card's finished for that. Hi, Jean. Um, nice of you to join us. Already oh, have. <laughs> um, we do we do quite a few lives. Um, I'm going to put um, like a little banner up in the group. We have got quite a few new members over the last couple of weeks, so I want to just let everybody know what lives we do and that there are extra little bits that you know you can catch and pick up tips so look out for that in the next couple of days so this is the card i'm making i just put that um in front of me so that i can see what i'm doing now the card base that i'm using is a seven by seven 
I say seven by seven. They're craft creations cards, which I usually buy from either the range or Hobbycraft. The range at the moment, because Hobbycraft is short. Um, but what I usually find is that they're not quite seven inches. Um, this one is six and three quarters square, six and three quarter inches, that is, which is about 17.2 centimetres square. So when you're looking at seven by seven, just measure your cards first. If you buy pre-scored cards, just measure them first to make sure you've actually got the measurements spot on because they're not always what they say they are on the pack. My mirror card is six and three quarters, no, six and three quarters, six and a half, six and five eighths square and the black card is six and a half inches square. Now I've already stuck these together because you don't want to see me sitting here matting and layering. The one thing I would say is if you're gluing stuff onto mirror card, be careful with making sure you use enough glue because there's nothing worse than receiving a card and finding it all falling apart. So when I'm using mirror card, I do tend to use the red double sided tape to stick my card onto my mirror card. Hi Natalia, um, because it, it's just a little bit more secure. Um, I mean, you can use glue. If you're going to use a wet glue, I would also use uh, the red tape or a, a strong double sided tape as well, just to give you that little bit of extra security. So I've already matted and layered that. And then I'm just going to glue this down onto my card place. As I say, it's not a difficult card. It's not going to take me very long to put together. But I wanted to leave myself a little bit of time after I'd done the card. Um, just to run through the layered words, um, dies and stamp sets. Because I know we had one lady that asked for a few tips on using how to use them. So I'm just going to run through that after I've finished this. So I'm just put this down on my card base. About right. And I do like this pin flare um, book binding glue because it does it does adhere really really well. It does give you a little bit of time for moving your things around, but once it's down, it's down, and there really isn't very much um, budging it. Now with this card that I did yesterday, you'll see that I've put the die cut on the side. Now I used one of the words from the um, happy set. These are they. I put them. No. I put them on the white background. You'll be able to see them. Um, so you see, anniversary is in there, and I stamped that in Versa mark and then embossed it in um, gold, a sparkly gold, because I wanted the sparkly gold to sort of pick up on the mirror card, because the other gold that I've got would have been a bit too um, dull. So um, I decided for today's card that I wanted to change that. Uh, I've, I've used the small um, matting and layering banners out of the happy layered word set and I'll show you that in a second because it, it goes with everything else that I'm going to run through in a minute. But I decided for this card today, I didn't want to do another anniversary card so I thought I'd go for a happy 50th birthday instead which means I've used both sets of the layered words, the happy and the birthday. So that's going to be different for today. So in order to get everything to fit on, if I put the die down the side, then I can't get the birthday along the bottom. So what I decided to do was put the die at the top of the card instead. Now, as I said, I've backed my mirror card onto double sided adhesive sheets. So I'm just going to peel that adhesive sheet off using my fabulous tweezers. It's a bit fiddly, but once you've got the edge, it will just peel back quite easily off your die. 
and then you can stick it down but make sure that you're happy with where you're going to put it before you let go because once it's down it's down so excuse my head a second as I want to get it on the black and not on the gold so I think that's about right yeah happy with that now how much easier is that than trying to glue all those all those fiddly little bits here I mean you can and, and I did that on this one I used glue on this one so you can do it and it looks equally as good but this just saves you a little bit of time um, if you've got double sided adhesive then why not use it hi Franca um, no apologies necessary nice to see you here it is Natasha it's um, it's amazing stuff I would be lost without it I should be ordering more it is a beautiful dye Wendy I um, I like them both I missed out on the floral posy it sold out before I had chance to grab it but never mind it will be back in stock so now I'm going to add my sentiment and as I said to you I'm using the happy and the birthday now you can see on here that I've layered the, the words I've cut the background I've cut a, um, the matting layer for the letters and then I've added the letters now to make sure that the letters are in the right place because I don't know about you but I know that on numerous occasions when you've been lining the letters up you think they're straight and then you lift it up and think no they're not so what you can do is when you cut your letters out you can use this as a guide to where to put your letters so if you put that down and then glue your letters in individually making sure that you've got no glue oozing out so what I would say is lift your frame away from your letters as you've glued them so that the glue that you've got underneath that if there is any overspill <coughs> excuse me and um, you can you can wipe that off so it doesn't stick your little frame down okay and then when you take your frame off all your letters are in exactly the right place so if I show you what I mean with the birthday I left one letter out because I didn't want to sit here doing them all because it would take ages so I've left the frame in place I'm just going to add my glue to the B that I've left out to do for today. A little bit much there. And then I'm just going to slot that in where the B is on there. Hold that down firmly. And then peel away the frame that you've used to line them up with. And your letters, a little bit of overspill there but that won't matter we'll soon get rid of that all your letters will be in exactly the right place so I think that's I think that's quite a clever little tip to use for when you're placing your words and your letters on your background so then I cut my numbers also out a gold mirror card now I was going to cut these several times out of ordinary card and layer them up um, but it, I decided against that in the end and what I thought I would do instead is use my 3D glue gel and raise them up that way. So you could do either, you could cut the, let the numbers out two or three times in just um, some scrap card and glue them on top of one another and then put your 50 on the top and then you'll have a raised number or you can do what I'm going to do and use a little bit of 3D glue. Now I haven't stuck the words down yet because I want to put the numbers down first and I'm going to put my little TH, see this is out of the numbers set um, and I stamped that in uh, stays on because I'm stamping on mirror card and I wanted to make sure that the ink would stay. I mean you can just cut the die and just use the shape but to be honest it, it doesn't really look right without the number stamped on it as well and um, I think it's worth just taking that extra little couple of minutes just to, to stamp it out and then die cut it um, or die cut it and then add the stamp on the top either way is either way will work fine now I did also 
as you can probably see put this on um, double sided adhesive as well but because I've changed my mind on how I'm going to put it on the card I'm going to take that off now this is going to be sticky so I don't want to drop it the wrong way up but then I'm just going to add my 3D glue on the back there and that's going to stick to my fingers every time now perhaps I should have left the paper in place never mind this is the trouble with changing your mind on how you're going to do things because once you've changed your mind you've uh, messed up what you were originally going to use Right, that's fine. I'm going to leave the paper on the number because I've done that on double sided adhesive as well. Right, see, can you see the, the adhesive on there? It's lost the shiny paper, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. Um, I still think it will, I still think it will stay where it's supposed to stay. I mean, you can take it off if you want to, and um, stuck to my finger. Yeah, you can take it off and put your your three D glue gel directly onto your sticky paper at the back if you want to. Um, but I, I don't think it's I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it'll come off. I'm hoping not. Anyway, not that I've particularly got anybody that's got a 50th birthday coming up I don't think yet but I've got a card ready for when they do so I'll just put my number down here like so I just love these numbers I love the shape of them um, I just think they're isn't they fab? Obviously they had a little stamp set that went with them um, which was um, polka dots and all the numbers were um, if you stamp them out first then you've got little polka dot numbers but obviously they're out of stock as well because they all sold out because they were so popular so my next thing is do I raise the words as well or not? That's the question. Well, would he appreciate a 50th birthday card with flowers on it, Natasha? Because if he does, I'll send it to him. Um, no problem, man. Yeah, it's classy, isn't it, Natalia? I love black and gold together. Um, I don't know what to do now. I don't know whether to... Flat. Oh, OK. Thank you, Wendy. I think that will um, it will make the 50 more prominent, won't it? And because the f the flower die is flat, I think you're probably right. See, I would have done it flat normally. It's only because I've raised the numbers up that I question myself. He loves everything. Oh, he's easily pleased then, Natasha. I wish mine was. He's so fussy. Mind you, he's a man, isn't he? <laughs> right, I'm just going to pop that down there. And I do like offset. Um, I, I, I did toy with the idea of, of putting it all in line, but A, it wouldn't fit because of the size of the card I've used. If I used an 8x8, eight eight, it would fit. But to be honest, I think if you used 8x8, eight eight, I think the design would would lose a little bit of impact because I think it would be lost on a bigger card. So I decided to stick with the stick with the 7x7, seven seven, well, 6 and 3 quarters as it is, um, and stick with that instead. So... How cool is that? How quick and easy was that? Now, I am going to add 
um, some little gems. Now, Lisa hasn't got any gold gems. Lisa hasn't. Um, I don't know whether she's planning on bringing any gold gems to us, but might be a good idea, don't you think? So I'm just adding, and really it's just it's just for balance, because although I don't like things extremely central, I do like balance, um, and I just think it's nice to just. I like I like blank space. Don't get me wrong, but I don't like too much blank space. So I'll just add that there. And that for me is enough. That that just sort of um finishes it off. And you know me, I can't I can't not add gems. It's very rare that I don't add a gem. Um but a gem or a pearl. So there you go, those are my two cards. Um and as I say, quick and easy. It's uh what time is it now? One ten seven. It's only taken me an extra bit of time because I've been gassing as well. So I I think that's effective. Looks classy because it's gold and black, but um, it's easy. It's easy to do because the dyes really do everything for you, don't they? It I just think it's perfect. So as I said, because somebody had already asked. In the group about the layered words I thought I would just do a quick run through of how they work how you can use them and and it is literally just a quick run through however because it's on um, my live it will go onto YouTube so it will be there for posterity shall we say thank you Heidi um, so this first one if you use all three dies together, you will get that. Now, you can use them like that, or you can take them apart and use them separately. You can print, you can print them, die cut them in three different colours and use different aspects of each level in a different way, in a different um, formation, so that you've got different colours rather than it all being a solid colour or you can just use the outline layer to cut out the outline now you would use this for you remember I said um, for my numbers I was going to die cut them several times and layer them up that's what you would use that for so if you were wanting to layer up your happy you could cut that several times out of scrap card glue them together and then put your main word on the top so that you'd have several layers to lift it up off the off the base of your card if you wanted to just cut the background for the words you'd use the middle die and that's what you would get again you could do the same with that cut them several times and layer them together and then if you just want the letters then you just use the middle die so you just get the letters that will drop out of here if you want a little frame like I had that little frame there so that you can put your letters and know that they're in the right place then you would use both of those dies and again I'm not going to sit and cut them out for you because it's it's boring to watch to be honest so use those two together and you will get this with your letters in so this is what it will look like but it will also have your letters in it I've taken the letters out of here to put up here so that you can have the letters separate okay so if you cut this out as it is there that's what you'll end up with and then you can change the letters interchange them in different colors so that you get different letters you can use your frame to line your letters up you could just use your frame like I have here or if you wanted to do something completely different 
you could cut the letters out in a piece of card and then just use that as a stencil if you wanted to. I'd, I would suggest cutting it on a bit bigger card so that you've got like a board around it so that you could use that as a stencil. Now I did that on one of my samples for one of the earlier shows um, where I used the Amazing set and that's what I did with that. I cut the Amazing out and then used the stencil on some card and then put that on the on my base card. And I think I used the honeycomb die out of the slimline honeycomb set. So you know all these things of Lisa's will always work together. Um, you could even put your letters in a straight line which will match beautifully with some of the vertical sentiments that we've got. And these are the other two dies, three dies, that come along with the set. So on the happy set you get a small birthday like that. and you can cut that out layer that onto a piece of dark card so your dark card shows through and you can see the word properly because you don't really think you can see it properly on white it doesn't really show up that brilliantly perhaps it's because I've used a pale colour card as well but then you can use your other two frames for your matting and layering so you know the the versatility of these dies and the, the amount of different options that you can get, I think, are what sell Lisa's dies. And I think that's what what gives you your value for money. And obviously you've got all the stamps that go with that set, like I've already showed you. Um, and they will all fit inside the banners. So you can use stamp your sentiment and then cut it out in one colour and then put a, a matte and layer in a different colour behind it. And again, you could use the word birthday and do the same thing. Or you can use one of the sentiments. And I, I just think, you know, how many things on the market give you so many options? That, that's it, Wendy so many options I, I just think they're incredible i i don't know i'd like to spend a week inside lisa's head um because i i, I don't know where she gets these ideas from but i just think they're amazing um and you know sell out to just prove my point really don't they? I, you know as a design team member i feel privileged that we're the first people to see what lisa brings to the public and the first people to use them and and that is just amazing for me so when you see people buy in the quantities they've been buying it makes you feel good and and i'm just so proud to be part of lisa's design team and i know all the other design team members probably feel exactly the same so we all thank you for your support for lisa because Without you buying Lisa's stuff and Lisa making it, we wouldn't have anything to do. <laughs> so thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed both the cards. Um, a little bit different. I will put the video up onto the YouTube channel. Um, possibly today, but more likely to be tomorrow now. Um, and then I know Lisa's back this afternoon at three o'clock. And I'm not sure what she's going to be selling, mind. Um... And then hopefully Claire will be back with you next Tuesday. And then I'm not sure whether it's Natasha or Heidi next Wednesday. Because obviously Heidi gave up her slot for Lisa's Live this week. So I'm, I'm not sure. Might be Natasha, might be Heidi. And then I'll be back next Friday with you. So I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Um, hope you don't eat too much chocolate. Don't make yourselves sick. Um hope the weather's a bit nice oh it's you natasha okay that's fine thank you very much so natasha will be with you on wednesday and then i'll be back with you friday so enjoy the rest of your weekend have a fabulous easter don't eat too much chocolate and i'll see you again next week bye for now <laughs>